The $67 billion pro-poor budget is aimed at improving access to education, health care, and address the growing inequalities in the country. Contributing to the debate on the bill, Zambezi Regional Councillor Cleotu Sipapela called for the creation of a constituency development fund for the regional leaders to develop rural areas. Sipapela said councillors are accused of not developing the regions despite no funds allocated to them. We need to request for a trial period. Let each constituency be given a one or a two million. And let's see whether our people are not going to be empowered. Also contributing to the debate, that Deputy Minister in the Vice President's office, yes, Hilma Nikanor, said that such a fund will make rural development a reality and help in stemming rural urban migration. This system of equity fund that we are subjected to has never worked. It has failed totally and for that matter, this arrangement subjects you to apply. Now when you apply, it's either you are approved or you are disapproved. It's not automatically that when you apply to the equity fund, you will be catered for under that particular financial year. Therefore, you find that the fa uh, particular financial year will lapse without your constituency having benefited anything. Oshikoto Regional Councillor Libius Tobias announced that the National Council will approach the Urban and Rural Development Ministry with a draft proposal on how to go about creating such a fund. We will engage the new minister, Komori Chaningwa, and the deputies and other officials, and we will also very soon tour the whole country and speak to the regional councillors, members of public, and every so that they, they understand what we want. Salmi Hangula, NBC News, Parliament.